In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Kalmani cat. The Kalmani is a natural cat breed, which means they developed without the need for human intervention. These felines are known for being energetic, smart, and sociable. You can find Kalmanis in shelters and breed specific rescues, so remember to always adopt. Don't shop if you're looking to add one of these cats to your home. The Kalmani has regal roots, originally being kept by royal families in Thailand many centuries ago. In fact, the breed appears in a classic book of cat poetry from the 14th century called the Tamra Mayu. The breed's name translates into English as White Gem. It's said that the Kalmani was kept native to Thailand until 1999, when a breeder named Colleen Frameth decided to bring the cat to the United States of America. These days, you can find Kalmanis in shelters or in the care of rescue groups. So make sure to consider adoption if you decide that this is the breed for you. Here are some interesting facts about Kalmani. 1. The Kalmani Size The Kalmani is a small to medium-sized cat. As is always the case, exact size standards might vary. Most Kalmanis weigh in at 8 to 10 pounds. They're usually 10 to 12 inches in length when fully grown. 2. The Kalmani's Personality When it comes to the Kalmani's personality, you'll instantly realize that this is one super playful and curious cat. This breed will happily play fetch games and never think twice about exploring every nook and cranny of an environment. So make sure you have at least one cat tree installed for the kitty and preferably lots of safe furniture that can be scaled. The breed bonds well with children and other small pets, and will quickly become your kid's best new playmate. Adding on to the Kalmani's playful side, this is a sociable cat who always wants to be at the center of any action going on. If your home is empty for large parts of the day, the cat could suffer from loneliness. In fact, Kalmanis have also become known for being very talkative and verbal kitties. So be prepared for many back and forth conversations with your new feline friend. 3. The Kalmanis Health Kalmanis are generally considered to be healthy cats, but always schedule regular wellness visits with your cat's vet. One breed specific health problem that's associated with the Kalmani is potential deafness. This is actually something that any cat with a combination of a white coat and blue eyes might suffer from. 4. Taking care of your Kalmani. As with all cats, it's important to keep up your Kalmani's regular veterinary checkups to detect any health concerns early. Your vet can help you develop a care routine that will keep your cat healthy. Beyond scheduling yearly wellness visits with your vet, make sure that you pick up a scratching post for your Kalmani's living environment. This can help promote healthy scratching and keep the cat's nails in good condition. The Kalmani's ears should also be examined regularly for signs of dirt building up or possible infection. It's also vital to check the cat's skin regularly, especially around the ears, as white cats are often more prone to developing skin cancer. Talk to your vet about starting a regular teeth brushing regimen that will suit your Kalmani. Your vet can advise you about specific brands and techniques. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 5. The Kalmani's Coat Color The Kalmani is a white cat. The breed's plain white coat also has the effect of making their eyes stand out and sparkle. In terms of climate, the Kalmani generally prefers to be around warmer temperatures rather than cold ones. Although you should always make sure that there's enough shade and fresh water available during the hotter months. 6. Kalmani to Children and Other Pets The Kalmani is a great fit with young children, not least because the breed is so outgoing and playful. Just be sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides. When it comes to other household pets, the Kalmani fares well with many domestic animals, including dogs. Always supervise early interactions between the new cat and existing pets as well. 7. Kalmani's Attention Needs Cats in general tend to require a lot of attention. Owners who are home often or are able to participate in activities with this cat breed will be delighted. Try to spend 10 to 15 minutes actively involved with this breed several times a day. Daily exercise will help maintain its body weight and keep its muscles toned and strong. Toys are important to allow the cat to stay active and engaged. 8. Kalmani's Grooming Although cats groom themselves, regular grooming is advised to keep its coat in good shape. It stimulates circulation, massages the skin, and removes debris and loose hair. Grooming also strengthens the bond between the owner and the cat. Bathing As cats clean themselves, bathing can be introduced into the cat's routine when it's a kitten, and should be done every two to three weeks. During times of shedding, bathing will help to remove dead hair. 
Try and teach your cat to get used to bathing when it's a kitten. Fill a wash basin or sink with lukewarm water, and ensure that you use veterinary approved shampoo. Work the shampoo in thoroughly, and ensure that it completely washed out, as any residue shampoo can hurt your kitty when it dries. A good rub with a towel will help to get your cat dry, but they do tend to groom themselves for a while after bathing to dry them off properly. Brushing They shed moderately, so regular brushing is a must. Brushing must be introduced when your cat is still a kitten, as it helps to form good habits. Don't forget to brush the stomach and under the neck area. Most cats actually love this. Your cat can be brushed every two to three weeks to remove dead hair. Do not brush too much, as cats produce oil through their hair to cover the coat and keep it healthy. Too much brushing can stimulate these oils in excess. Make sure you clean the brush after each brushing. Clipping Cats' nails tend to keep on getting sharper as they grow. Most cats prefer to keep the nails from getting too sharp by scratching on things, which normally ends up being your mom's sofa. When there are not enough things in the house to scratch, you might need to think of buying scratch poles or pads. Even with all the scratching, nails do need to be clipped every few months, but it is best to let your veterinarian do this as it can get really dangerous for your cat. There is a tiny vein that runs into each nail, normally causing a faint pink shadow in the nail. This is called the quick. When the nail is cut too short and in the quick, your cat will bleed, which is painful and unpleasant. Early socialization really pays off with this breed. Make sure to reward your cow money for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.